Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discuss in the boot dashboard service and a Cypress. We already talked about when we are telling the futures and introduction there also I mentioned for dashboard service, right? Now in that paid version and also we have a couple of days we can able to use for free versions also and that is basically inbuilt of for cloud it is presented they are maintaining like cypress team members are maintaining this cloud one whenever you run a set of one code it will run into that particular uh, cypress one okay how we can able to achieve and those things means we need to run before that cype npx cypress open once you open it will open our cypress Okay, it's the easiest format to configure your uh, functionality. You need to choose for Chrome or Edge or Firefox, but not for Electro. <clears throat> then we need to come to runs. Uh, just now I run, that's why you can see here it's already run. How to do it means I just uh, log out here. <clears throat> Okay, this is the login to a Cypress cloud. It will uh, we will get for information. Okay, once you get the information, means you can able to log into your Cypress one. While you are doing that, you have to configure your uh, own format way. Okay, once you click this one, it will launch you for <clears throat> another browser. Open. Okay. They are already created, that's why it is showing this one and you can able to use it for different logins. See, first time when you are doing this, it will ask you to do login with the, any GitHub account, if you have already. If you don't have already, then you can use for each uh, Gmail account, which you have already, a Gmail, right? That Gmail ID, you can able to use, anything is okay, okay? And in my case, I'm going to do for GitHub one. <clears throat> And you can able to my name it will comes and in your case what will happen it will ask you a few like what is the first name last name and a company name and you need to provide any kind of name you can able to use it your company like you are your studying or your job searcher then you can able to use any kind of company name your name itself okay <clears throat> that's not you have to specifically they will not check you that company whether it are existing or not like that okay just you need to provide some name for that and you need to choose some rules and all everything and after that you can able to click it then you can able to come to here but uh, while you are doing the first time right you you can't see this particular uh, page okay but you will see this message as well as another information you can able to get it uh, this is the information okay this is here you can able to get it for uh, cloud run code okay that is the line is from command prompt we need to run this particular key we need to take it okay i have already co copy pasted this particular uh, id that's why i am just uh, showing for the screenshot to understand your purpose we have to keep separately if you last means we can't find properly okay but if you want to run this particular one, you can able to run it. Go to your Cypress folder where exactly it is presented, where you created your project. And there you can able to use for CMD. Once you use a CMD, just copy paste that URL, which you copied from that uh, after a successful login, then just hit it. Once you hit this one, it will try to run for all the cases what are the cases it will uh, having right everything it will keep on run even if you want to see your result means you can go to here i have already test project that's why it is showing here okay and once you can uh, click that particular one you can able to see it is trying to run here and still it is not execution is not completely started just now it is started second feature okay once after searching you can able to see there is a loading for your execution right this is a third run i have third run right now that's why it is showing for running script okay if you have already run uh, records means you need to record your run 
that you need to click it. Once you click, you can able to find a uh, first run, second run, third run, it is running. It is a first run, second run, it is a third run, okay? What all the things are passed and what all the things are failed means you can able to click this particular one. Okay, once you click here, you can able to see overview. What time you uh, ran, okay, for the test. And you can able to see what are the features are failed and how long it is took, okay? And after that, you can able to see test result and epics errors. Test results, uh, test, uh, test results means how many test case runs, okay? And aspects, how many test cases are presented and how many files are presented? How many errors, how many errors we got it, okay? If you click the specs, it will give you for all the specs. You can able to uh, get it for which is pass, fail, what kind of uh, status you want, you can able to get it. And last and what time it is run based upon that also. And running group if you have any group and you can able to choose for browser. Even you can able to spec wise. Okay, spec wise also you can able to choose it. Okay. And the execution order, what type of file name based upon you want or the execution order base you want. Based upon that you can able to choose it. This is a sorting type of uh, information. Okay. Once you click on error, you can able to see there are two things. You can able to click on first one. Then you can able to see there are information provided. That is a jQuery dropdown is failed multi cases. Then click this one. Once you click, you can able to see there are two uh, things like creating issue. You can able to create some issue or else you can able to what type of message it is. Why it is timeout retrieving for cy.click failed because this is an, uh, not in a visible mode. That's why you have to use for force to click. For checking for error message purpose, I made it for this removed this particular force colon true. Okay. Then once you can able to go again top, you can see screenshot. If you click the screenshot, you can able to see our screenshot where it is failed. Okay. In this particular EQ2 place, I missed out for multiple true. Force to true also, you can able to click it. Okay. Then you can able to click for watch. This is a video. You can able to watch your video. Where it is run and how, how many times it is run and where exactly it is failing and why it is failing. Everything we can able to see that. Uh, what are the steps we return for automation, right? Every step it will record and it will give you final result. Okay. This is the best feature of our Cypress. This is all about for dashboard. I hope you understand this one. Please like my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.